Hi, my name is Ganapati. Uh, I'm a mechanical engineer. Uh, I passed away in 2014. So I'll be heading for my MS in uh, business analytics in the fall of 2016. I think Jigsaw helped me make that make that change and make that career switch. Uh, having been from mechanical engineering, I decided pretty early on that I wasn't meant to be a mechanical engineer. I wanted to switch fields, and I wasn't too sure on which way to go. So I actually worked in mechanical for a bit. I was also incli inclined to a theater back then, so I did a couple of months of that. You know, I had no background in analytics, but you know, I just stumbled upon something called visualization, and it's you know, it seemed like a very great concept of you know representing data and telling people your stories. I think the term used is is called an analytics unicorn, where there's a person who can not who can like pull data and process it and visualize it and communicate that message to people, um, and actually you know drive decision making. I think that's who I want to be. That got me thinking about analytics. So I, you know, I just googled. I googled analytics courses in India and in Bangalore, and I think a lot, of, a lot of them popped up. Uh, but the one that caught my eye was Jigsaw, and the reason it actually caught my eye was because I, I landed up at the, at the homepage, and then there was this video that said, you know, how um, Netflix uses, you know, analytics to actually make their content and to make their shows, you know, ever so popular. And uh, I, I still remember that that video. It was, it was called, you know, uh, House of Cards, I think, uh, and how Netflix, you know, came up with the concept of uh, ca uh, casting Kevin Spacey in that role because a lot of people enjoyed watching him on TV shows. And that actually caught my eye, and I was like, you know, this this is this is the place I want to be. This is, uh, you know, what I want to learn. Actually, I didn't have any hesitations in terms of signing up, but I've been a big fan of Coursera. So my only skepticism and the only uh, and the only doubt that I had was, will Jigsaw match up to that level of Coursera? And I must say, I wasn't disappointed at all because uh, Jigsaw actually went a foot forward and uh, gave us access to servers where you could actually use the system like it's your very own. You know, you can't store the data like you can on, on Coursera, but I think that's more to do with protecting uh, softwares that, that you don't usually get access to. And it makes sense because you, you, can't, really you can't really buy software that's like really pricey in the market. So if, if Jigsaw can give us that, that access, then it's great. What really helped was I had you know, no background. I was a little skeptical on how things would go. But I think they started off from the, from the, you know, right from the basics. Uh, at least the course that I took was you know, very, very, very basic in the first couple of lessons. And then gradually you know, went on to more complicated, uh, more complicated things. And you know, that, that actually you know, simplified things for me as a learner. I, I didn't have any hesitation on how to blend in and actually learn you know, this, something that is really complicated because there was, you know, a little, there was good good amount of hand-holding. Uh, and I actually went into the subject uh, having you know, learned from real-life experiences, which actually uh, makes you think and makes you understand better. Did Jigsaw play an important role in my choice? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I don't think this MS would have happened if I hadn't understood what analytics was, because you know, as long as I didn't understand what I was getting into, I didn't want to get into it. Because I think you know, I've I've been a I've been swaying around a little bit in terms of what my career, what I wanted in my career. So at least my MS, I knew I wouldn't be uh, taking a step back ever again. And I think the fact that I took a Jigsaw course there uh, completely, you know inclined me towards making making that choice because I understood the basics of analytics and uh, I knew that was that was what I wanted. Yeah, so once I completed my MS, I want to work on a product that 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 has analytics as a, as a very important aspect of it. Maybe even not just drive decision making, but uh, analytics at at its core. Uh, something something like Netflix because I'm a big fan of Netflix and what they have to offer. They've created a, a great world for themselves. You know, video on demand and movies on demand is a great thing. But uh, it, it would be it, there'd be a lot of wastage if you didn't know what the people wanted and if they didn't learn from what the people were viewing. Uh, so it makes perfect perfect sense for them to actually look at the data and learn from it. And there are a lot of companies that can actually feed feed off their data. I think I want to be uh, at the helm of, of of a company like that to actually help make that decision using data. Uh, analytics is really vast, and you know you can't you can't have just one course in your resume and expect to to be doing wonders. I think there's a lot of learning. It's, it's rapidly changing, and analytics is you know every day there's something new that's coming up. You need to like uh, keep up with that, and not just do the course, but also keep in touch with the trend and read a lot online and just know things. I think that is more important than um, actually just you know depending on your grades because grades can only take you this uh, you know that far. Uh, and I think in this field you need to be really smart and you need to be really up to date. Uh, I think that's that's the key.